uh, this is a very simple application to convert uh, kilometers into inches, feet, miles and yards. Uh, we are going to demonstrate a very simple application uh, just to show you how the Visual Basic controls work. Uh, we will only use button and labels. The idea is just to demonstrate to you how events are created and how events work. So new project, I'm going to call this as kilometer converter. So this is my user interface. This is the form which is like a container which holds all the other objects. Uh, on the right hand side you can see this is the properties window. Uh, properties belong to a control, uh, to an object. So right now since the form is selected I can see all the properties that belong to a form. If I add an object like a, like a, a button. So notice all the properties of the button are now visible. Form properties, button properties. <coughs> so let's go ahead and add a label and a few buttons. So this is my label and this is my button. <clears throat> so notice right now I cannot adjust the size of my label. So what I'll do is I'll change the auto size to false and now I can change the size of the label. Also what I can do is I can change the border style to fix 3D. Notice that how this uh, sort of creates an embossed look for the label uh, which makes it stand out. So the default text that is visible in the label is one kilometer is equal to question mark. <coughs> we'll call this as LBL results and we'll change the font size to something that's a little bit more visible. We can also align the text to middle center. Uh, we have all the other options available. Uh, top left, top right, top center, middle center. So that's what we've selected. Uh, button 1. We'll use this button if the user wants to convert kilometers into inches. Likewise, we can have button for feet, for miles, and for yards. So yards. Miles and feet. Uh, let's give these buttons names. <coughs> BTN inches. One thing that has really helped me is that if I want to give name to a feed button, uh, I don't have to select the name over and over again. All I can do is just select the button that I want to rename and start typing and it automatically updates in the name field. Uh, this also works if I want to if I want to change the text that is displayed. So notice I put inches over here. Now I don't have to click back on the properties window. I can just type, start typing and it will automatically update the last selected uh, field. I will also take this opportunity to show you how to create shortcuts. So all you have to do is just put an ampersand sign in front of the character that you want to make as a shortcut. So put an ampersand sign over here that creates M as a shortcut so your application this functionality of this button can be accessible by a keyboard shortcut alt M or alt Y and so on <coughs> again inches now let's 
give our form a title to kilometer converter now one thing that you might want to do is uh, you for example if you're using tab notice how my how my controls are flowing in the proper order uh, very nicely between inches, feet, miles and yard but sometimes that order changes. The reason that order changes is you might delete a button or you might add another button. For example, imagine if this was like this. <coughs> if these buttons were arranged like this. So now when you run the application notice how my tab order jumps all around and that is not good. So what we do is we can select the view tab order and now uh, this is how this is the sequence of the flow of control one two three four and this is zero so it actually starts at uh, zero so what we can do is all we have to do is just point and click so now this becomes zero this is the first button that will get the control click 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 it so now the control flows from feet to miles to inches to yards so notice now when I run this application feet is selected goes to miles goes to inches goes to yard so let's code for the f now to exit <coughs> sorry I changed this 0 1 2 3 now to exit the tab order all you have to do is just hit escape now let's code for the feed button so notice it creates a button feed click event so that means that wha what will this button do when the feed button is clicked so we know that one kilometer is equal to 3280 foot so that's all we'll do we'll say lbl results dot text is equal to one kilometer is equal to 3280 point eight four So notice now when I run this application, I click on feet, it says 1 kilometer is equal to 3280 feet. Uh, likewise, I can code for the miles button and again same thing. Uh, all we have to do is uh, just say LBL results dot text is equal to 1 kilometer is equal to 0. Point 6 to 1 miles likewise we can code for the inches button also so that will be lbl results dot text is equal to 1 kilometer is equal to 39,370.1 inches and then finally we can code it for yards and we can say lbl results dot text is equal to one kilometer is equal to one thousand ninety three point six one yards so that's it uh, this is how our application looks like click on feed click on miles inches yards it gives you the answer so in this application we've just demonstrated very simple button click events and how to change the text property of the label to display uh, what you wanted to display so notice there's no actual calculation that is going on the only thing that is changing or only thing that is happening in this application is the display uh, in the label is changing Thank you.